This video will cover the topic, evaluating a piecewise defined function. A piecewise defined function is as its name implies. It comes in pieces. The function will have one name, and there will usually be two or three parts to it, with different domains. On a graph, we would see the different parts with jumps where their domains end. Piecewise defined functions are not required to be the same kind of function for each part. In other words, one part could just be a point. Another part could be linear, and another part could be quadratic. We will see something like this in an example problem. What are the different ways domains can be shown in a piecewise defined function? In the domains, we will usually see either an equal sign, a not equal sign, a greater than sign, a greater than or equal to sign, a less than sign, or a less than or equal to sign. Where there is any kind of equal sign, the boundary number is included in the function. Where there is not, such as greater than or less than, without the equal sign, the boundary number is not included. Let's look at an example to better explain this. Suppose that the function g is defined for all real numbers as follows. g of x equals first negative one-half x minus one if x is less than or equal to negative two, second x minus one squared minus two if negative two is less than x, which is less than two, and third one-fourth x minus one if x is greater than or equal to two. Find g of negative four, g of negative one, and g of two. We can see here that there are three parts. The first part is linear with a domain of negative infinity to negative two with a bracket. Because of the equal sign within the less than sign, negative two is included in this part. The next part is quadratic with a domain of negative two to two. Because the equal sign is not part of either side of this domain, negative two and two are not included in this part, but everything between them is. The last part is once again linear and it has a domain of bracket two to infinity. So two is included in this part. Okay, I understand now. So what are we actually being asked to do in this problem? In this problem, we are asked to find the values of this function at three different x values, negative four, negative one, and two. Let's start with negative four. Which domain does negative four fit into? It fits in the first part because it is less than negative two. Yes, you're right. So we'll substitute negative four in the first part for x. Negative one half times negative four minus one equals one. So g of negative four equals one. Now for g of negative one. Which domain does negative one fit into? It fits into the second domain. Yes, and now we will substitute negative one into the second part. Negative one minus one all squared minus two equals two. So g of negative one equals two. Lastly, we will find g of two. Which domain does two fit into? It fits into the last domain because two is included in that one. That's right. So we'll substitute two into the last part of the equation. One fourth times two minus one equals negative one half. So g of two equals negative one half. These are our final answers. So to evaluate a piecewise defined function, at certain values of x, we find the part of the function in which the desired x value fits, substitute that value into the function part, and then solve? Exactly. Now you're ready to try some more examples.